Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I'm gonna talk about some insane icon flips that I've had today. I had my biggest ever icon flip in FIFA history. Of all the FIFAs that I've, that I've played, that I've traded, I had my biggest one ever today, so I wanna talk about that. But I also wanna talk about this Bruno Fernandez and today's content because this is causing some market movements. This Arturo Vidal SBC is another one that is causing a lot of market movements today. This SBC, uh, you know, we, we'll talk about it in a bit, um, but I think it's good value. It's a sick dynamic image. If you're a Barcelona fan, if you got a lot of Barcelona guys in your team, that's a sick SBC a lot of people are after. Um, but I wanna talk about this icon stuff first. If you need to trade right now in this game, if you have the ability to trade with icons right now in FIFA 20, and that means if you have anywhere over like 300,000 coins that you can trade with icons. Uh, there are people on this game, of course, icon swaps right now is what everybody is grinding towards. They're, they're grinding towards the icon swap tokens, which has people thinking about icons, which I think is causing more people to use icons, try them out, um, and it's just creating a market where you can trade with these icons because they fluctuate a decent amount. Uh, I, these, all these cards today, these five right here after the Maldini, uh, all of these add up to somewhere around like 150,000 coins of profit. I made I made 70K on this card. I made 50K on this card. And then uh, these are like some 10, 20K flips right here with these cards right here, uh, the Blanc, Pirlo, and Ronaldinho. So those are really solid flips. Uh, you know, making 10, 20, 30K a card on most of them with a couple other big ones, that's really solid. But this one today was the massive, massive flip that I had. And I just want to talk about this for a second because sometimes you just find these gems on the 59th minute. And I'm going to talk about some filters and stuff if you guys have some curiosity with icon trading to kind of talk about that. But I'll show you the pictures. These are taken from my companion app today where I sniped this. Four million coins flat for this Maldini, sold it for 6.7 million, uh, which is 2.3 million coins after tax. My biggest ever flip on FIFA. Now I had a flip like a month ago where I bought a prime route or a moments Raul for a million coins less than what he go went for on the market. And I thought that was gonna be one of my biggest flips ever. But this card right here, 2.3 million. Honestly, boys, it was just kind of lucky, right? I just got lucky with somebody listing this Maldini up on the market. Uh, for this price and I, right now there is one up on the market 6.4 mil there is one up on the market right now is this fresh this is not fresh but this guy was just nowhere to be found earlier today on the market and now uh, he is there and I just kind of got lucky with the quick sale I was able to sell that card in 20 minutes which usually when you're trying to flip one of these upper tier upper echelon icons it doesn't happen that way and uh, today fortunately it did so I got insanely insanely lucky with that flip but you can find those flips just as easy as I can. It's all about being quick and fast to the 59th minute. This is how I find those deals. I set a filter. This is the exact filter that I was on today when I signed Maldini. 950,000 minimum buy it now and a 4 million max buy it now. And basically what I'm doing is I'm filtering out a lot of those lower icons and I'm trying to just get into this budget where I'm comfortable with and I'm, I'm, I know the prices of a lot of cards in the 1 million to like 2 to 3 million coin range. I know a lot of the icons in that range. So that's why I search here. And then this max price, you change this every time you back out when you go back in. That's how you refresh the market. So I search with this filter and I want to get, I want to use right bumper or R1 and get to the 59th minute as fast as I pop possibly can. So as you can see there, I need to lower my search filter. It's nighttime, there's less icons out there. If you get to the 59th minute in two pages, uh, like I did, like right here, this is not showing all the listings. You can tell, because it's like one hour range. There's more cards getting listed up other than this. So that means you have to widen your search filter a little bit, right? So I'm gonna go down to 850 with 4 million and see if I can get to the 59th uh, pretty quickly do there's another one Th this icon filter stuff is a bit glitchy is what you'll find out you you really have to find a filter and once you find one you can work it for you know 10 20 30 40 searches uh, that was close but once you find a good filter you can actually you can absolutely just change your uh, refresh your, your minimum or your maximum bid price which is the one that I set at 15 million and you keep searching now this filter looks a bit too open right because Dang, look at that. Something is messing up with these icon filters. I might have to lower this top range down a little bit too. Knock it down to three mil. Um, because you're all, your, your entire goal with getting to the 59th minute is trying to get there 
in less than, I like to say less than 15 searches, less than 15 pages, which right now for me is seeming impossible with the filters that I'm trying to work with and it's not working. But I wanna show you guys a filter to get on. Of course, the filters during the day are different. I sniped that uh, Maldini during the daytime, so there was less, or there were more cards on the market. So that's why my filter could be could be wider. But right now, since there's less cards on the market in the evening time, that's why I have to tighten up, or I have to wide up my filter, widen up my filter in the nighttime, and you tighten it up during the day. That's what I'm trying to say, because there's more cards on the market during the day. I'm gonna widen this up just a little bit more. Sometimes changing one of the like the minimum bid or the minimum buy it now or the maximum buy it now by even like 10,000 coins can make your filter work so much better or worse. So this is basically what I did today though, boys. I get to the 59th minute and you look to see which cards were just listed. And this is why it's so fun because you never know what's gonna be there at the 59th minute. You could have a Maldini at 4 million coins flat that you just know is too cheap. Uh, and then you go check the price on Footbin. You're like, oh my goodness, that's a huge undercut. What a deal I just found. Okay, this is not gonna work for me right now. I don't know what the deal is, but this filter is not working. This is bad for the video because I'm supposed to be showing you how I sniped this car today, right? But this filter is not working at, at nighttime like it does during the day, which is unfortunate. I think we have a good one here though. I think we found a good one here. But again, your whole goal for this is to set a good filter, get to the 59th minute as fast as you can, and look for undercuts on cards. And you'll be amazed. This is It's hard to get to the 59th minute for icons because you can't filter like them really specifically unless you go by like midfield or defender, which you can sort by midfielder or defender. Um, but I like just going back just like this because I feel like I can find the best deals back here when I don't have super restrictive searches. 1.1 mil for Stoikov isn't bad. Uh, 1.3 mil is not terrible for that. But again, the biggest thing again with these 1.05, that's not bad either. It's not terrible, but it's not good right now. The thing you have to look for with a lot of these cards is you have to remember the tax. So that's the second biggest thing. The first biggest thing is knowing your prices. The second biggest thing is the tax. Getting to the 59th minute, looking for deals, knowing prices to know which card, okay, I can sell this card for X amount of coins during the day at this price. And then um, knowing how much tax there is, because if you buy a card for a million and you need to sell it at 1.1, that's decent profit. You're making 45,000 coins profit right there. Cause there's 55,000 coins of tax at 1.1 million, 5% tax on every single card sale in this game. So you got to make sure that you leave yourself some leverage for actual coin profits after you sell the card. And after there's the tax calculation is put in there, 815 for Blanc, that seems pretty cheap. I'm going to keep searching down the line though. 1.5 for Stevie G is not the best. 1.8 is not the best. Anything else back here? 960? Nope. Nope. I'm not seeing any big undercuts at the moment. So nothing big here, but this is, you, you get the gist of it, right? And if you're on a lower budget, you can set a different filter, right? Let's say you have like, you have 500,000 coins and you want to, you want to go on this, on this really, this really short filter right here. You can just kind of memorize the cards that are in this, this price range. It might not work as well, as well for this. Um, if you're going to do like a lower range, if you're like 300,000 coins, uh, or anybody can do this budget. I like this little, this little method right here. It just searches for icons on a minimum bid. You basically can get to the 59th minute in one page. Uh, and you just have to kind of know prices 423 for this Nedved. I can see that, Oh, there's another one at 423. That's not a deal. So basically what you're doing here is you're refreshing this min price, but you move it once every time you search. And you get to that 59th minute as fast as possible and look for, these are icons that have less than 70,000 start price or open bid icons, basically. That's what we're looking for with this filter. So if you have any more questions about the filters or anything, drop them down in the comments below. I'll try to help out the best I can. I have another video on icon trading uh, on my channel. If you go down to the um, FIFA 20 trading methods playlist, you will see more videos about icon trading where I go more in depth on some of that stuff. But this is my favorite way to trade in the game just because of the uncertainty, you never know what somebody is going to list a card for on the game. And that's what happened to me with this Maldini today. This got listed up at 4 million flat. I knew it was too cheap. I instantly bought it and then relisted at 6.7 after kind of looking at Footbin and seeing where he possibly could have sold that over the past couple of days. Footbin is your friend with all of these cards, but realize that Footbin does not tell you the whole story. So learning a card's price takes time. Watch that card over a day, over two days, add them to your watch list, your transfer targets. You can tell that I'm learning cards every single day. I'm looking at these prices. 
are these viable prices? Some things that I, I see that might be an undercut, but I don't think I can actually make profit on. And then I'm adding, I'm adding open bids like this Vieira. If I can snag that for a mil, I can know I can probably sell that for like 1.07. Uh, so I can make 20K ish maybe on that kind of card. So just adding cards to your transfer targets is huge for memorizing prices and knowing where you can get a card to sell at. So that's enough talk about the icons. Enough of me talking about my big flip on the day. Let's talk about this other content. Bruno Fernandez, player of the month. Overpriced, in my opinion, for the upgrade that he got. Now, I want to I want to kind of change your minds and how you're looking at this card because a lot of people are looking at this 89 and they're saying this guy barely got an upgrade he, he got like um he got plus zero pace and he got like plus ones all the way around technically the bruno fernandez was upgraded from his inform the player of the month got a plus two from the inform and it got a decent stat boost all around um, but this winter refresh card they don't take promo cards into account when they're doing player of the month boosts or um, like inform boosts, they don't usually, usually, sometimes they, you know, they can do whatever they want. It's their game. It's EA's game, but they don't usually skip over a promo card, which is what they did not do here. They went from the 88 rated inform. They gave him a plus two and that's his player of the month. But if you compare it to the 89, there's really not that much of an upgrade against plus ones all around and plus zero pace. So there's a lot of people that are not happy with this SBC, but I will tell you that there are a lot of people doing this SBC because it is Bruno Fernandez. He's going to get a dynamic image at some point, and that's going to make the demand for this SBC go even up more. And, you know, to be honest with you, boys, is this going to be Bruno Fernandez's highest rated card of the year? If you're a man, possibility that this could be his highest rated card of the year. I don't know if he gets into team of the season, especially because the second half of the season, which was cut short, due to uh, the virus stuff and the canceling of the games, at least for now. So I don't know if he's going to get a team of the season card, right? So if you do want to do this SBC, if you're a Manchester United fan, you want this guy in your squad. If I can persuade you to go get the tradable version, the 89 rated winter refresh, I would love to persuade you to get this card instead because it's going to be way better for you in the long run. Uh, because yes, this card is going to drop in value, but you're not then sinking your coins into an untradable SBC that you're not going to be able to recover from, right? If you get this card, which is 644,000 coins at the moment, 643K, what's this one? 650. So if you want to get the best rating of Bruno Fernandez, I would go for this one. He's down a little bit today because of the SBC. I don't think he's going to rebound that much higher because the SBC is like 750K. But, um, you know, if you see this guy around 600K flat, that's, you know, a decent buy price, in my opinion. Even if you can go with the 88 rated for your team, you know, he's what, 330K. That's not a terrible price. These cars dropped a little bit today because of the player of the month. But this player of the month and the Vidal SBC as well coming out on the same day. This was calculated by EA for sure. Absolutely calculated. And again, what? Why wouldn't high rated rise? Boys, if you look at my transfer list, apart from the icons that I flipped today, hopefully you guys are swimming in the money. Swimming in the money. I've been listing these Koulibaly's and these Chiellini's at 45,000 coins for a week now after I bought them last week at the beginning of Foot Player Days and the Economy Bowl promotion where these cards dropped massively after the Ramos SBC came out. They, they dropped on that Friday with two for one packs. They dropped in the weekend and I told you guys, buy 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 because i knew there was going to be more spcs coming the packs were going to be done and that is exactly what happened and now we're getting spc after spc after spc and these cards are rising so if you did buy i think it's a perfect exit time on your high rated fodder today into tomorrow in the next couple days because there are a lot of spcs in here that a lot of people are doing bellerin a lot of people did this uh, people might even be chipping away at Neymar still or at Messi. Bruno Fernandez, people are interested in now. This is an end game at CDM center mid Vidal that people are doing. Not really sure if people are doing Benega. People are doing Boateng though from the players tab. I can't tell you how many. Wait, is this one? Wow, this Vidal doesn't expire. I didn't even know that. Wow, that's a GG. Yo, I'm going to end up doing that SBC at some point, probably during TOTS, during upgrade packs. If that does happen this year, that's when I'm going to end up doing that SBC for sure. But um, we got, where's he at? Where is he at? It is uh, Jerome Boateng. This is another big time card uh, that a lot of people are doing. And again, these kind of act like icon SBCs that are sitting out here 
in the players tab that don't have any expiration date. I did not know that Vidal didn't have an expiration date. That's a GG. That's a GG EA Sports. I like that because Vidal is actually a, um, I think Vidal is actually a decent value card. And, and this again is really, really pushing up high rated uh, today. Taking a look at some of the high rated Ilicic, 41,000 coins. I bought him on my video yesterday for 37. He's still in packs. Um, and all the rest of the 89s are like 45k, 88s are 35k, 87s are up, uh, 86s are up. So if it's anything that is 86 and above, I would say take the money before rewards. This week, take the money before rewards because you know what? Don't even chance it with the pack supply. Take take the coins if now if you want to because so many people are doing the Vidal, the Boateng, the Bruno Fernandez. This is SBC time. This is when SBC cards are the highest. So if you bought a bunch of those high rated GGs, uh, you had to wait a week, right? But you're making 10,000 coins a card on some of these high rated. So is that worth it? You're waiting a week for 10K a card? I think it's absolutely worth it. That was a great investment. I'm glad I made that call. And hopefully you guys got in on that because they are flying, absolutely flying right now. So again, Vidal right now, it looks like costs around 400,000 coins. But a lot of people are doing this card because of the links that you get with them. Let's check them out for a second. If you look at his in-game stats too, this is an, this is the definition of an, an end-game box-to-box center mid. He's high, high work rates, which is perfect. Four-star weak foot, three-star skills. He's got the four-star weak foot. That's all that matters. He's got 80, he got a plus 11 pace boost from his footmas card. And this was the biggest complaint people had today. They said, hey, I don't like re-released players getting an SBC. I don't like it either. But when I see a plus 11 pace boost on a card that, you know, Barcelona links is 454,000 coins, a little bit expensive right now. Yeah, I think it is. Will he drop down in the future? Yes, I think he will. High rateds are inflated as we just looked at. This card will drop down. If you want to wait two or three weeks to do this, we're probably going to get a promo. And this, this SBC price will probably be in like the 375,000 coin range, which I'm a big fan of that then because I think this card is every is worth every single bit of 375K, even as an untradeable card, because this is insane, right? This is going to be a nuts card. And again, I hear the people that are saying they're upset because of the re-release content, but the stat boost is so massive. At this point of the game, this is a very usable card. And if uh, if, if you know if you're gonna re if you're gonna re-release a card like they did here with Vidal, make sure the stat boost is massive. And they did that here with the pace, which is the biggest improvement that I've seen on pace on a card like this for a while. And that's what this card needed. From to go to the foot miss to this, it needed the pace boost to make him hold a gang club 80, whatever you call it. So that's a GG. Huge fan of this again. I've probably talked about that too much. You're like, why are you still talking about this? Last thing I got to talk about. You know I'm from America, right, boys? I am a fan of the MLS. Not a huge fan. I don't follow it that much. But this card that dropped today as well, this center back right here, the MLS League SBC, I'm going to check on this right now because I would I would almost bet you that the MLS League SBC is up a lot. I'm not a League SBC guy. I don't do a ton of them. How much is the MLS League SBC? It's 300,000 coins right now. Uh, according to Footbin. But that 88 Opara card is one of the best center backs in terms of statistics that we have seen on FIFA. Look at this SBC, the last 72 hours. This SBC cost you 150K two days ago. And now it's 300K almost. Not quite 300K, 238, but I bet a lot of these guys are extinct, so it actually does cost 300K. I bet some of the guys on these MLS teams are extinct. You guys might know better than me, so put in the comments down below which one of these SBCs are harder to do, but I know a ton of people are going after this card because look at the stats. 92 pace with 86 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, and this is what does it for me. 97 agility. This guy's six foot two with medium high work rates, which is perfect. He's got 97 agility, 95 strength, 92 aggression, you throw something on there that boosts his tackling, which is already high enough. You boost his tackling and maybe you, you can boost in like dribbling stats or whatever. Look at his passing. 99 short passing and 90 long passing. If you're doing any league SBC, it's got to be the MLS. Maybe wait a couple weeks until this hype, this hype the hype dies down a little bit. But there's going to be people that are talking about this for the rest of FIFA because that Opara card is nuts. So that's a big time GG for me, yay, with this card right here. 
you know, it's going to be hard to link him. You might need some icons. If you do the, the Weston McKenney SBC, that would help. I'm trying to think of some other players that you could link him to. Some other Americans in the in this game. Uh, but regardless, if you can link him with icons, go for it. Because this card is crazy, crazy good. Um, I'm really curious to see how he plays in game. There's probably some YouTube reviews out there on his card. But I'm sure that he plays insane. So again, I thought it was a decent day of content from EA Sports. Um, and of course, we're feeling good as traders and investors with these cards selling for the prices that they are selling if you did get in them, if you bought them earlier. Because again, it's a big time of SBCs. I expect a promo on Friday. I do fully expect a promo on Friday with um, maybe for birthday, maybe Carnival, maybe something else related to uh, just FIFA content in general. But I do expect a promo on Friday. So I would get rid of your high rated golds sooner rather than later all right boys if you enjoyed the video today smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out